Turning now to a trash problem that just keeps on coming, and it's a contract switch that has garbage sitting out on curbs all across Metro Detroit. Consumer investigator Hank Winchester, he's been getting the calls and emails from people who've had a problem with this. All right, so Hank, first off, can you explain the contract switch and why there was even a problem to begin with? Yeah, it really comes down to that switch that you mentioned. It was from GFL, which many people had for years, over now to Priority Waste. And that was official July 1st, right? So we knew that there was going to be a little disruption in service, but the problems were uh, compounded when they apparently, uh, Priority, uh, took on some of the equipment from GFL. So what, what does that mean? Uh, they had some issues with a lot of the fleet, a lot of the trucks that they took over. So they weren't able to get them rolling into neighborhoods. And as you mentioned, we've been hearing from people from all over Metro Detroit, uh, from Highland to Ann Arbor, uh, the West Bloomfields. Now, that particular area, Bloomfield, Canton, uh, we understand that some people are still dealing with some slow response and pickup. Uh, but I want to hear from you. If you are still dealing with trash that's been in front of your house for maybe two to three weeks now, uh, feel free to contact me on social media, email me directly, help me Hank at WDIV.com. Uh, and the other thing that Christy, that people have been really trying to figure out is what you should do if it's been a few weeks and you haven't had pickup. Well, the number one thing you need to do is contact Priority. They do have a live chat option on the website, PriorityWaste.com. You can also contact them directly at 586-228-1200. And we put all that information for everybody at ClickOnDetroit.com. Yeah, so Hank, so the switchover was supposed to be on July 1st. And you can understand that there might be a little, you know, some hiccups along the way. But then taking on some of the fleet of the older company, if we're at July 11th right now, um, it would seem to be that this is a pretty big problem. What's Priority telling you right now? Yeah, and Priority is really putting a lot of the blame on taking over some of that fleet. But the one answer that, you know, we couldn't get is why didn't they have a better understanding of what they were kind of taking on right. uh, before all the papers were signed and the deal was done uh, July 1st. So that's something that we're looking into today. Uh, they say that they feel like they're almost fully operational right now. But, you know, from the emails and the calls we're getting at the station, there are a lot of people that still have complaints. They're working now to get to all of the communities. But, you know, this is a huge contract involving hundreds of thousands of consumers all over Metro Detroit. So we understand why people certainly are frustrated right now. All right. And so people can also email you directly if they've got uh, anything you want to see video, you want to see pictures. I want to see it all. Oh, if you're yeah. sending me a video, shoot a nice <laughs> video horizontal. I love it. We might use it later on Local 4. Uh, feel free to hit us up on the Local 4 Instagram, my own personal one. Uh, we've been communicating with people the last few days, and it's really just making sure Priority is aware of the areas that they still need to hit and target. All right. Sounds good. We'll see you on Local 4 News at 5 o'clock tonight. Appreciate it, Hank. We know you're on it.